Yo guys, what's going on? It's RM Gamer here, back with a tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to purchase FIFA 21 on your PC. If you have any issues or queries, let me know in the comment section or through my Discord, and I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. And with that all being said, let's just get straight into the video. So there are currently two methods, or should I say two places, which you can actually purchase FIFA 2021 from. Why did I say FIFA 2021? <laughs> So the first method or place you can purchase the game from is through Origin. So Origin are just owned by EA and that's the place for EA games. And the second method is through Steam, many of you may know what Steam is and many of you may have used it before. And that's the second place where you can also launch FIFA 21 from. So how this video is going to work is where the first method I'll show is through purchasing FIFA 21 from Origin and how you actually install the game on Origin. And the second method is through Steam and how you can actually install the game on Steam. So what you do first is go onto your browser and you're just going to search up FIFA 21 PC. And then if you want to look at the first two links, you can see the Origin link at the top and also the second link which is the Steam link. So for Origin, you want to click on the first link, FIFA 21, standard edition for PC. You just want to click on that link right there. And as you can see, we are on the FIFA 21 page for Origin. So if you want to scroll down, you'll see more information about the game, about its EA Play Pro as well. And also the system requirements that you'll be needing. So you will be needing these specifications at least in order to play the game on your PC. So once you've done checking out the information and everything about the game, you just want to click get the game. So I think EA Play Pro is just a subscription based platform which you can use to actually play the game and pay monthly for the game. So there's obviously EA Play which is a 10 hour trial and you pay £3.99 per month or £19.99 per year. Or you can choose EA Play Pro which you can, means that you can play FIFA 21 Ultimate Edition which is only £14.99 a month and an £89.99 per year which is quite expensive but you do get the Ultimate Edition and probably some more features or bonuses I guess but if you're not interested in getting them to subscriptions you can obviously just pre-order the game which is £54.99 in the UK so what you want to do is just click pre-order £54.99 select your edition so you can choose the Standard Edition, Champions Edition or Ultimate Edition the differences with the standard uh, champions and ultimate editions where champions and ultimate you'll get a three day early access so you get a pack per week through the standard edition for three weeks up to 12 rare gold packs in the champions edition and up to 24 rare gold packs in the ultimate edition you will also get a Kylian Mbappe loan item as well for five FUT matches FIFA ultimate team and bastard loan item so I think it's through Trent Alexander Arnold, Joe Felix or Erling Haaland so for now I'm just going to select pre-order now for £54.99 standard edition. Here you can go ahead and make your purchase. And once you've purchased the game it should bring you on to a download link to download Origins Launcher and if you didn't get that already you just want to look at the left here and click download. Select download right there for Windows and then wait for that to download. And once that has downloaded you just want to go through the setup tutorial of installing Origin. And once Origin has finally installed you're on to the Origin Launcher. Because you've already purchased the game, it would show straight up in your library, so you don't need to find it or anything, it will be in your library. So let's pretend that Apex Legends is FIFA 21, it's ready for you to install as I have not purchased FIFA 21 on Origin yet, so I, as I have not purchased FIFA 21 on Origin. So let's just pretend that Apex Legends is FIFA 21, so it will be the same concept of what you need to do. So what you do is just click on the logo or banner, whatever you want to call it, and then click download right there. Which I'll just click English for now. Choose your install location and once you've done that you want to click next then click I accept the license agreements and understand EA's privacy and cookie policies as well click next and as you can see the game is now starting to download if you look at the bottom left you want to click there and, and as you can see FIFA 21 is now installing well for me Epic Legends but for you it'll be FIFA 21 and once that has finally installed you can obviously then start to launch the game and it should be ready for you to play and that is how to get FIFA 21 on Origin. Now we're going to move on to getting FIFA 21 on Steam. So for getting FIFA 21 on Steam, you just want to search up FIFA 21 on PC. And then we'll look at a second link, which is a Steam link for pre-purchasing FIFA 21 on Steam. You're going to click on that. And now you can see we're on the Steam page for FIFA 21. So if you just want to scroll down, you can see more information about the game. You can also see the spec requirements that you'll be needing in order to actually play the game. Just a quick note that you'll be needing at least 50 gigabytes of free space in order to download this game. So once you're done checking out all the information on what you can get through the game, 
Um, you can choose from three editions, so the Standard Edition, Champion Edition, or Ultimate Edition. So once you've thought about which edition you want to get, so for now I'll be choosing Standard Edition, which is £54.99. So what you do for purchasing FIFA 21 is click Add to Cart, then select Purchase for Myself or Purchase as a Gift, but Purchase for Myself, sign into your Steam account, and then here you want to select your payment method and then go ahead and make your purchase. And once that is done, you just want to go back on the Steam page and you just want to look at the top and click Install Steam. Then here you want to click Install Steam and wait for that to download. And once that has downloaded, you just want to go through the setup wizard of installing Steam on your PC. Now once Steam has finally loaded in and ready for you to use, um, you just want to go onto your library, it should come up straight away. And you should be able to see FIFA 21 in your library, ready for you to install. Obviously for me, I have not purchased FIFA 21. And I don't think I'll plan to until December time maybe, but I have not purchased FIFA 21. But for you, it should show an install button because you've because you've already purchased the game, so it, you don't need to buy it again. Obviously, you just need to install it. So as an example, as I said, I have not purchased FIFA 21. I'm just going to use Counter Strike as an example of installing actual FIFA 21 on your PC. It's the same method, same concept. So what you're going to do is click Install, then select your install location, then click Next. Quick note again, it is 50 gigabytes as well to install FIFA 21. Let that do its thing and then click finish. And then if you just want to look at the bottom uh, where it says downloading zero out of one item complete, you should be able to see FIFA 21 start to install and you should be able to see the network usage and more if you and the time remaining as well. So that is how to purchase FIFA 21 on PC. Let me know if you have any issues, please feel free to also go and subscribe. You can also check out my other tutorials and future uploads as well, like any more future tutorials I might do as well. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, this has been Gamer, and I'll see you in the next one guys, take care, peace!